Now to a story that was first breaking on Eyewitness News this morning. We've learned several churches in Fall River are set to close their doors. Holy Rosary and Holy Cross chapels will be shut down, as well as the historic St. Anne's Church. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima spoke to some parishioners this morning about that decision. She joins us now with more from the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. The front doors here at St. Anne's Church have been locked for years after structural issues forced the masses to be celebrated in the basement shrine. And now we've learned the entire church is set to close down for good. Dozens of people gathered Sunday for mass at St. Anne's Parish for one of the last times ever. I cried. I, I, I can't believe that another church in the city of Horva is closing. Bishop Edgar de Cunha announced the final mass at the historic church will be celebrated on November 25th. I grew up in this parish. You know, it's a very sad day. St. Anne's has been an icon in Fall River for more than a century. It's estimated the church needs $13.5 million worth of renovations, and it was decided that raising that kind of money was unlikely. I think the Catholic Church is in crisis right now, and I think St. Anne's is a reflection, is a reflection of that. The bishop cited declining membership, aging buildings, and fewer priests as reasons why the parishes have to close. These issues aren't unique to Fall River, though. Churches across the country and the world have been shuddering for the same reasons. This is the third church thus far that I have joined. This church means the world to myself and to many, many residents in the city of Fall River. The bishop plans to form a committee to decide how to reuse the building. But as for the members, the parishioners become a family. It won't be so easy to pick up and find a, find a new home. I'm hoping for a miracle and with God, nothing is impossible. And in a post on its Facebook page, the church says more details on its closure will be released in the coming weeks. Reporting in Fall River, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.